the next match stuff. Cash your card. What's going on everyone? Ah, United vibe, here we go. Yes, it's, I mean, it's one of them nights. I don't want to get too sort of like big bullish start of this video. I just walked past all the flags, the flowers, everything around the Trinity statue, been on Sky, been on Talk Sports today, talking about Robbie Charlton, everything that has gone on over the last few days. It is a sad, sad night for United, but obviously it's got to be a celebration as well. And the players have to use the emotion of tonight out on the pitch it can get ahead of some players it can be a bit too much and it's a lot it's a little bit too much for people around here there's a lot of emotion going around old trafford tonight and it is just going to be one of them strange nights but one of like i would say more celebration uh, of the career and the life of Sir Bobby Charlton rather than one of uh, disappointment and it's, it's just it's hard to talk about it as you can tell i was like this on the show the other day every time i do start to talk about it, it's difficult and just bear with me in terms of like i know i'm a younger generation and stuff but i was brought up on this and it was everything that my upbringing was with manchester united and why i love the football club the stories from my granddad were everything to me but yeah it's going to be one of them and hopefully the players can do injustice tonight i really do hope and i'll save my sort of rants and reactions and everything like that uh but yeah, well, we'll see anyway. Hopefully they don't get in the way uh, of what is a celebration of a fantastic life and career tonight. I'm sure the players will know how this crowd is and how they're feeling. So, yeah, let's just go with that and let's just hope that they can turn up. But that team that is going to turn up on the pitch tonight is a strong one. When Tommy stays in midfield, Van der Vaart and Bruno. Front three, Antony, Rashford and Hoyland. And then regular on his back. We've actually got a left back back in the team tonight. My boy and partner in Ferran, who's also back. And now they go Dallo on the right hand side. So yeah, this is going to be a big game for United. So you put everything aside, the emotion, United have to win this game. Otherwise we've got the Champions League pretty much officially. So yeah, massive night. Going to get inside now, taking the atmosphere because it's going to be a big one tonight. We'll get in there early. So I'll see you inside. Manchester or the United Kingdom or wherever football is played around the world. He played 758 games and scored 249 goals for United, winning three league titles, the FA Cup and the European Cup. For England, who won 106 caps, scored 49 goals and won the World Cup in 1966. Yet, he was admired Sir Bobby Charlton, the finest English footballer the world has ever seen.
Yeah. Well, it started off. Crowd up for it, atmosphere amazing, brilliant tribute to Sir Bobby Charlton. The football has paid way for all of that disappearing. It has been abject, it's been slow, it's been poor, lethargic. I don't know how players cannot be up for it on this sort of occasion, but I just think bare basics, at least at least put a little bit more in, at least show that he deserves to be wearing that shirt. And how many times have I said that this season? But tonight you'd have thought of all nights, emotional, yes, sometimes where you struggle to deal with that sort of side of things and try and channel it in, like I said. But for what I've just watched there, I mean, I kind of thought Sheffield United was bad first half, but this was just, I don't know, people are falling asleep, people are booing before half time, people are booing at half time. And on the next night, on the night when we're supposed to be celebrating one of the footballers' greatest, one of the United's greatest ever players, one of England's greatest ever players. We got subject to that crap. It is. I'm not going to go off and lose it and ban and tan and everything like that. I mean, what else is he going to do? He's not going to bring us anything different. We've just got to hope that these players are going at half time. Then I can shake them down and actually come out in the second half and actually you know, give it a bit more. Play with a little bit of purpose. Not be scared, not be afraid. So, Bobby Charlton's most famous line was never be afraid to miss. We got one shot in anger from Rashford, which wasn't even worth claiming as a shot. It's a pass back. Not good enough. Not got the right energy. Not got the consistent style of play that we've cried out for. Again, we're not seeing any signs of it. There's no life in this team. Rashford, poor. Anthony's energetic, but he's running down blind alleys because he's no link up. Some changing it looks like. Man, Tommy and Highland are playing as a front two. A long diagonal every now and then to them and just play off them too. We've not passed it through Copenhagen once. And then, like always, as soon as the opposition gets the ball, no matter how crap they are, one, two, three passes and they're through our defence and midfield in a heartbeat. They should be in front, they hit the post early doors. And you know what? I think their fans are probably a credit to the Copenhagen fans and the respect that they paid and the banner they showed out for Bobby Charlton. I think this means more to them than it does these United players right now. And honestly, I'm telling you, I said it in the preview, Ten Hag's head is on the block and he doesn't get the win here tonight. There's no excuse not to be winning this game. No excuse whatsoever. And I think changes are going to be coming. Again, he did it early against Sheffield United, round about the 60 mark. I'd be surprised if it wasn't the same again here today. This has been uh, shocking, I would say. It's the way that you used to describe that half. And like I said, on a night like this when we're celebrating Sir Bobby, for this team to be booed off at half time after everything that's gone on before this game, it tells you exactly how crap that's been. Okay. Just about to finish up, thinking we're actually going to get a win and it's late drama again with United. VAR check, last minute of injury time, penalty to Copenhagen, been given. This just sums up United season right now in the Champions League. This actually could put United out of the Champions League. I don't know what's going on, if he's going to check it or not. What's going on here right now? Fans are agitated. Couldn't see it up. He's kicked the penalty. Oh my days. I just don't believe this anymore. This team. You have to score more than one goal to win a game, surely. Cannot keep going through a season trying to cling on to one no leads. Oh, we'll see, we'll stay. Stephen Anderson saves the penalty. This could be a season turning moment for an Arno. Oh, it could be United out of the Champions League.
in the end, United are still in the Champions League. That's what we've got to be thankful for. Absolutely mental ending to the game again. I don't think United can get through a game here at Old Trafford without drama at the end. We'll get into that in a second. Obviously, I have to address the elephant in the room, which is the rumours going around. Well, they're not rumours. So-called channel that I have approached have made an announcement tonight. You guys wouldn't have seen me much on the United stand recently. I am no longer doing anything on the United stand. You won't see me on there. Uh, everything moves on, nothing lasts forever. Uh, a change is what I needed, something a little bit different. I approached Craig, his team, their new project there, project there, top of the league. I'm looking forward to doing something a little bit different. I'm still doing my own stuff here for United, so don't worry about that. There's going to be content coming daily, like I said, but I am going to be doing some other work on other football, talking about other teams as well, a passion of mine that I've always wanted to get into, but yes, that is happening as well. Absolutely buzzing with the decision it's not been easy but i will talk about more about that in time but yes just so everyone knows it's not fair on everyone involved because obviously people have been asking i thought i'd just announce it now i am joining top of the league and i'm really looking forward to getting kick-started on that so do join me on that go and give that channel a subscribe go and give the videos a like craig has been on there tonight covering this game it has been a little bit crazy i've seen his reaction to that and i'm saving the last minute sorry craig you didn't get the headlines tonight mate but yes that is oh man what a night that on top of everything that happened at the end there with united again the emotion and a fitting tribute at the start of the game to sir bobby charlton and then the team let us down in the first half that's all i can say they were booed off man how can you get booed off on a night like this that emotion has to carry you forward. You have to wear that shirt with pride and understand. Moments like that are what this club was built on. That's what Bobby Charlton was. That's what he created here, along with many others. And you have to ride the emotion and be able to handle it. We didn't. But credit to him, they came out in the second half a little bit better. I'm not getting carried away by any stretch of the imagination here. Manchester United were still average in the second half. We're always going to have pressure on our defence. We're always going to have pressure on certain moments in games because, like I've said in many a videos gone by this season already, we can't finish. Garnacho, Hoyle and Rashford all guilty of heavy touches when clean through on goal. McTominay should have probably scored again. I don't know how he missed it. The referee gave a corner thinking the keeper saved it and the realisation was the shot was that bad. It was miles over. Dead ball. <laughs> it just, until we start putting teams to bed and scoring more than one goal, we cannot get through a season. And you cannot expect to be where you're supposed to be if you're clinging on to 1-0 leads constantly. That's all we've done. We've not beaten anyone this season by clear goals apart from Palace in the Carabao Cup. As long as there's only one goal in it, you're always going to have a chance. And with United's defence and mistakes, again, McTominay, a bit rash. I've not seen it back yet. I've just seen it from my position. It looked like the foot was up, maybe, and the, he just took a dive. Bit of contact, I'm not sure. You guys can tell me. Oh, by the way, my live stream died on the internet around here. I was doing a live beforehand, so ignore that one. I had to just go a retake and go here again. But yeah, it's like I did what United did. Like, go inside, fail, start again. Here we are. And we're actually getting a result, finally. But, yeah, ultimately, this was just a, a fail, wasn't it? It was an epic fail in the first half. But we pulled ourselves together and we got it going in the second half. Annoyances are still there. It's the same thing, the style of play, not much cohesion. Having to make emergency substitutions. Ericsson coming on to save us again in the second half. Amabat not cutting it quite yet. Rashford not being brought off. Again, he's just... Tenag, he's not going to help himself. Yes, it's three wins in a row, we move on. But the big test is coming at weekend now. Are we in any fit shape to play Man City at weekend? I don't think we are. I really don't. I think City will still smash us off the park. We've just got to look at nights like this and just go, you know what? Learn. Just start learning from it. You cannot play this bad and get through these competitions. You cannot play this bad and be able to finish where we need to in the Premier League. They need, it needs to be more. I don't know what's happening on the training ground, what they're trying to produce, what they're doing, what they're working on. And while all this is going on on the pitch tonight, he's going to have that noose around his head. And it's going to tighten and tighten and tighten with his fan base. I'm already getting people messaging me asking why I'm trying to back him. I need a manager to be in here more than two years. Someone just to rinse out what was there before from previous managers and completely reset. But he isn't helping himself with the way that we're playing and the substitutions that he's making. Where is Mason Mount gone? I mean, God, I'm looking at it going, I don't know what he was doing wrong in the first place, to be honest, but I understand McTominay being in the team there. Again, no first half, I didn't know what was going on. McTominay looked like he was playing in the front two with Highland and we had two target men. 
long diagonals all the time. But it's been an emotional week. It's been an emotional day. It's going to carry on that way against City at weekend. It's just going to be, it's going to be horrible in terms of having to deal with City if we lose that game. They're going to rub it in. It's going to be a hard day for United. These players, I don't know what there is or what they can do to make it better because it doesn't seem to be sinking in. We go again. Maybe we can pull out one of them Liverpool slash City performances that we had last season. It's the same team. We've got the same players. We've added a few better ones to it as well, so why can't we? It's a big if. It's a massive if. And I'm worried for weekend, I really am. I don't think there's many City fans who are worrying right now, but United really have to make this place count at weekend. But if it goes south, really does in that one, then we are going to have a bit of a nasty atmosphere here at Old Trafford. And it's, you know what? It's... I don't know where I'm at with how to explain how United are at the moment. It's so weird around here, the atmosphere. It's just like people, when you sit down and you're watching Manchester United, when you're in that stadium, it's like sitting in a dentist's waiting room. Everyone looks nervous. Everyone looks scared. They just don't know what's coming. And that's how it is. Everyone's on edge all the time. I don't know how we change that. Maybe an actual full performance for once might actually convince this fan base that this team has got something. But, yeah, it is what it is. That is my roundup of this game thankfully we're still just about in the champions league everyone make sure you give the video a like drop your comments in below let me know what you think and obviously yeah big up new changes it all goes on from here now so guys absolutely loving the support give the channel a subscribe hit that bell notification button as well fly across to top of the league give it a subscribe i'll be on there doing some other content as well absolutely buzzing and looking forward to the future guys i hope you take it all with you and you come along on this ride with me. It's been an absolute ball. And we move on. Next chapter. Cheers for watching, everyone. Like, share, subscribe.